Hi there. Today I want to show you how to use Prezi Next. So this is a new tool from Prezi. They still have their Prezi Classic one. That's what I have done videos on before. But with this one, it's a little different because you don't have to follow the path as you present it. You get to pick your own path depending on what the audience wants and or depending what you want to show the audience. So stick around as I show you Prezi Next. Hi there, I'm Jamie Keita, Teachers Tech, where I explore technology weekly. If you want to get notified when I have a new video out, just hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell and you can pick to choose on how you want to be notified. So Prezi Next, as you can see, presenting the next big thing in presenting. And as I mentioned before, it is quite interesting because you get to control how you present it. You don't have to go in any order. So I'm going to log into my Prezi account. I am using a paid account, but you can use this on the, on the free account. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and get logged into my account and I'll show you where it is. Now you still have access to your Prezi account, your Prezi Classic one. You can see this is my Prezi Classic one right here. Uh, this is one where I've done my video on the Prezi Classic. So if you're looking for that video, I'll put the link down below here or check the card in the top right hand corner uh, and you'll have a link to it there too. So I'm just going to go ahead and click up here in the top left hand corner and you can see here is the Prezi Next. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. So to start off, I just want to show you how it works a little bit and they have actually kind of an example here before I show you some of the details. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and present this uh, this will just help better with the idea when we start playing around with a few uh, few of the objects here so I'm gonna go up to present here it's gonna load up hopefully a little quicker there it goes all right so with Prezi next um, so in the previous Prezi you would kind of go in an order you could arrow through using the arrows down below and uh, just like as I click it will go through in an order. But now let's say if you're giving a presentation, I'm just gonna zoom, zoom back here. I'm gonna to go to the start here and I have this little arrow down here in the corner. You'll see it again as I move forward. If I felt the crowd wasn't in the place where I wanted them to be or maybe they knew something and I didn't wanna put the crowd to sleep or my uh, whoever's watching my presentation asleep, maybe I go to something else that, or maybe they know something already. So rather than uh, if I was starting here, if I clicked on something, uh, then I could decide to I have all these options before uh, here so I could go to add content uh, if I thought that's where they were and I can always go back you can see I hit the back arrow here and jump back I really like how it doesn't show uh, you can see how I have the uh, text over here first and as I click on it it shows a different image so until I go there it's hidden until I want to show uh, show the audience what I want to show them so as I go through this as I keep going back I can I don't have to go in a one two three four order I could decide well they know this they know this and then I can jump all the way over here and present over here. So this is something uh, really interesting about this Prezi Next that uh, I think could uh, become quite powerful. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close out of this window here and we're going to start to uh, create a Prezi Next. There's a couple different ways you can start your Prezi. Quite simply, click New Presentation or create a folder and you can create the presentation right inside. I can name the folder I'll call it example, hit save, and you can see it get changed. If you want to delete the folder, simply hit the garbage can and it's gone. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the Prezi from right over here and new presentation. And it's going to load up the example templates that I have. So now your job would be to scroll through. So if I pick uh, an example, it loads up a preview. It didn't start the Prezi yet. Uh, if I want to use a certain one, I can go use this template, then it will start. So I could click on a few different ones. I'm just going to scroll down uh, and I am going to pick, uh, which one should I pick? Let's go with, I'll just go this one right here. Nice and simple, straight. All right, so I'm going to use this one. It's a good company and I'll just click on, it's gonna load up and you're gonna see on the left hand side, what happens is a overview. So when I uh, start to click on each of these, you'll see it will zoom up to the different part. I can get back to the main overview part by clicking overview or there's an arrow down below. I'll uh, click on a different one as it zooms up or you can go back like this. Notice I can also click on here and it will zoom up uh, and over here, 
here's another one. So if you're wondering what these are, these are going to be the planets and the stacks. And so I'm going to go back to the main overview. If I thought these four weren't enough and I wanted to add another one, what I can do is add another topic here. I have a, trans, a choice of a planet or a stack, and I'll show you each of them to, so, uh, to separate what each of them are. So if I go with this one, it just simply adds a, uh, another, another topic that I can add to. And you notice it just has, uh, if I clicked on this one and uh, zoomed up, I can add a subtopic to this one also that goes around the curve right here. So I'm going to go back to the overview. Now you can see they're all very similar except for the color on the first one. If I was adding a stack, it's a little bit different. Notice it creates more of a page. Even though it looks the same visually here, when I click on it, what it does is so you can present things in a more of a linear fashion and in order fashion. So I could create multiple pages in this. And these pages can be reordered. So just if you wanted to change the order after you write uh, different things on it. So if I was going to write example uh, one and then click on, I'll just put example two and example three. And I'm going to go back to my overview. So you notice that there's a difference. So these are your topics and this is the stack. So if I go through this, you'll be able to see the pages under each one that you'd put information on it. So just going back, so that's a little bit of, uh, between the topic and you can do this at each stage. So remember if I go zoom up, I can uh, zoom up again. And even at this point, so you, this is where I'm on a stack because you can see it's a page. If I go back, let's say if I wanted to add a subtopic to this one and then I can zoom in and I can actually add another uh, subtopic and I can keep going in and in and in. What I like about this is if I insert an image, which I'm going to show you next, it doesn't show until I actually zoom up. So let's do a little customization to our Prezi. It's quite easy to change the looks, uh, look of this. One thing I didn't mention before is what I usually like to do uh, when I start a Prezi is give it a title. So I'm just going to call this example Prezi up here and hit OK. I could, uh, I'm just going to give this a title too. I'll just call this Prezi Next. So to change the colors, any object that I select, let's say this black one, this black circle, I can change the color very quickly just by simply picking the standard color. If you knew your custom color with the number, you could put it right in here. Uh, if you wanted to change the transparency, simply drag this lever. Now you could do this to anything. Here's our connector lines. And you notice if I click on it, I have the different options to increase the thickness or to decrease or to change the color. So uh, if you don't like the color you get in the template, just simply go through and click on the objects and change. Uh, another thing that you can do is if you right click, you can go to uh, the background and theme right here. And then what I can do is upload an image. If you want, if you had an image, I'll just pick an example that I have from some stock photo here, maybe this one, and it will upload this image and put it in the background. If I wanted to revert uh, to go back, I can just revert the theme to go back to what it was. I could remove the background and choose a color. So right now, I believe it already has a color in this one. I could change if I wanted to play with the uh, custom colors of it. I can just go through like this. I'm just going to hit end. And you can see that I can change if I wanted a solid fill or a gradient or you can see the different styles. So very quickly to change the look of this through the customization. We talked about, I mentioned uh, the different things you can insert. So if I insert at this level, so I could take an image and I'm just gonna use the stock photo that I have uh, off some of my old thumbnails. And once I put this in, so I could uh, move, I can move things around. You can uh, rotate, I believe on the Mac, if I hold down Command and on the uh, on the Windows, it's gonna be Alt. And then if I drag the corners, I can rotate this around. Now, if I zoom up, so I'm gonna click on a level here on this orange one. If I was gonna put a image into this one, I'm gonna show you an example. So insert my image and I'll just pick, oh, I'll just use the same one again. And then when I insert this in, 
and I'm, then I'm going to go back. You can actually copy uh, copy and paste right inside here. So remember, you can uh, right click and copy paste any images. And also with the layers, you can bring and send them uh, back uh, back in front just by right clicking on them. So if I take this image, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to go back to my overview. This is what I really like about this. It disappears. I don't have to show the uh, if there was something important on there and I realize the audience doesn't need to see it. I can when I zoom up, it shows. But if I choose not to zoom up on something it won't be there so the same thing at each level um, if I wanted to zoom up nothing's going to show up till I get there so if I was going to put again insert you can see I can insert my videos I could upload a video if I had one in my file or I could just simply put the URL uh, uh, for the YouTube video to put it right in here so I'm going to go back uh, here just to my overview and then you can take a look at some of the other things you can insert you have your shapes arrows and lines I'm not going to go um, over uh, these right now because uh, I think you can simply play with these again with the text if you want to add text to any part of it uh, you can see where you can customize it from the font uh, the size the bold italic uh, and different things the alignment on it Animation makes a good way to bring attention to certain parts of your Prezi. So whether it be a graph or an image, I'll show you how to do this. I'm just going to go back to the image that I had here that I'd already put in. And you could, again, you can make this uh, on anything. So I'm just going to go to animation right here. Notice a lot of these you can uh, show different uh, under the view. I can show my background comments and animation here. So I can click on uh, if you want a different way to get uh, to open up this panel over here. But with animation, what I have to do is just hit the plus sign and I'm going to put a zoom area and I'm going to resize this. So I'll put it right over this person's face. And so I want this to be the zoom area. So I'm going to bring it right over here and then I'm for an example I want to know what it looks like I just hit the little play button and it will zoom up on that area so when I present I'm going to hit the present and just show it from this part if I was presenting my Prezi as I go through it will zoom right up so again if you had a different part of like a, a graph or something you want to bring that attention to add a little zoom animation to make it pop now, uh, talking a few other uh, few other topics here. So we haven't uh, shared this out with anybody. You can add collaborators. If I click on here, you can see total collaborators. It's just me. If I click on this, I can add the email addresses, and then I can give people different. If I want to give them, can edit, can comment, or can present. Uh, another option that uh, I haven't played around with on this one is the live Prezi. So I'll have to take a look at this and try this at a different time, but it's a professional way to present online, smooth transitions, no lag, easy to set up, present online in real time. So again, I haven't tried this yet, but I am really curious about this. I'm just going to go back to my main view because this covers most of the topics. Uh, just getting started with this, you can see just using the templates, a lot of the stuff is already set up for you. And then it's just about your customization and setting up your structure uh, with your planets and your stacks uh, I'm going to close out of this you can see there's two different tabs that open I'm going to uh, I'm just going to make sure this I'm going to click on this to make sure it was all saved you can see there's a save also here I can start a new Prezi but I'm just going to close this tab and if I go back, you, you can see it's already in here. If I hover over, I can play the Prezi or I can go back to edit it. I have more uh, things I can do to this. Again, I could uh, set my privacy. I could edit. Um, I can add my collaborators from here or I export it as a PDF. Uh, a couple of other things I just want to mention if to take a look at, uh, I believe this is for a paid for, but you can look at the Prezi uh, analytics to see how people are, are viewing how, or how you're presenting to see how efficient your presentations are. And if you want to download it, take a look, create, pre uh, create and present at any time, download Prezi next. And it's also on the, your mobile apps too. So if you pictured a uh, picture, if you had it on an iPad or your phone, you're presenting it you could be walking around just moving and it maybe you're using Chromecast or AirPlay to present it on a larger active board or uh, display and you could just be moving around the room going to the part of the uh, of your presentation that you want or what the audience wanted to see so I hope you like this walkthrough and tutorial of uh, of Prezi next tonight I think it's a great tool lots of uh, cool features um, that I think will be become quite popular if you have please share it with where with some people hit that like button and remember i do these weekly tech tips and if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time